Good afternoon, this is Ben Summers from Morris Hillman Productions. I am presently in Ashfield, which is the site of this house here. Um, this house has quite an interesting connection to one of ch children's literature's most famous characters. Um, and that, in that it is the house where um, a lady called Helen Lyndon Goff, Helen Lyndon Goff lived. She's better known by, by her pen name of P.L. Travers and she is the creator of Mary Poppins who, as Julie Andrews famously affirmed in the 1964 Disney film, is practically perfect in every way. Um, P.L. Travers was born in Australia. She was born, she's ori originally in Maryborough, where she was in 1899. And then after her father died of cirrhosis of the liver, um, she and her parents, she and her family, including her mother, moved into New South Wales. And um, the first they lived in Barrel, and then Travers, as, an, as a young woman, moved here. To Ashfield, to the house on the, to um, the house on the right, where she lived for six years between eighteen, between nineteen eighteen and nineteen twenty four, when she moved to London. Once she moved to London, she didn't come really. She hardly ever came back to Australia. She only came back once in nineteen sixty six, and reportedly described it as not my place. Um, she was a mysterious. She was a mysterious and intriguing woman. Um, she adopted a son called Camillus, who was a twin, and she didn't tell him he was a twin, and he didn't find out until he was in his twenties. And when he did, his whole world got turned upside down. Um, she also kept a se kept secret the fact that she was Australian until one of her friends mentioned that she was visiting um, the meant that said that she was visiting here and at which point she revealed it and this friend was absolutely astonished because she had no idea that Travis was Australian I and mean, she spoke with a perfect with a perfect English accent she never mentioned her Australian heritage um, and so I, I, one can only wonder what might have prompted her to not discuss her heritage perhaps it um, her time here was too traumatic and she wanted to leave it behind or perhaps she was embarrassed about being Australian. Um, indeed, many Australians at the time referred to England as the mother country and Travers herself was, an, was born a British citizen. She was born as a British citizen because Australian citizen, citizenship was not established until 1949. Yeah, the um, Travers created the character of Mary Poppins in 1935, some 17 years after she first moved to um, to Ashfield. And interestingly, the original number of this house was 17. And as those who know the cat, who know the Mary Poppins stories would re would remember, the Banks children live at number 17 Cherry Tree Lane and I do wonder if there may be a connection between um, a, if there may be a, new, a numerical connection between the two and whether um, the address of the Banks children 17 Cherry Tree Lane might have been a nod to her time um, in, in Ashfield um, and, this, and also there is a statue in the park just behind me of Mary Poppins and as part of this video we will go and have a look at the statue as well bear in mind that the character of Mary Poppins looks nothing like Julie Andrews does in the film um, and yeah she was an interesting and intriguing woman I think she she had quite a sad childhood um, especially with the loss of her father who was she, who she was very close to um, interestingly her father worked at a bank and it was named George. Um, like the character 
uh, George Banks in Mary Poppins. And Mary Poppins is actually slightly autobiographical and is not about the children, but about saving the father. And indeed, this is um, referenced in the tooth at the end of the 2013 film Saving Mr. Banks, um, starring uh, Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson as Peel Travers. And Tom Hanks played Walt Disney. Um, and the film looks at Peel Travers' early life in Australia, although it was all filmed in America. Um, and it, you know, examines her her, you know, family history and so on. There's a, a Rachel, um, there's um, some, some, some well-known actors are in it, obviously. Um, but, yeah, that's the, um, bit about, that's, um, that's enough about the house, and we'll go have a look at the statue of Mary Poppins in Asheville Park.